Good day, fellow investors. Is NEO the Tesla of China? Charlie Munger always says that you only need three great investments in your life to have amazing results. Is NEO the one? Is NEO the one investment for the rest of your life? That's the answer we're going to give in this video. To answer whether NEO is the one, we have to take the blue pill and the red pill strategy. First, we're going to discuss the blue pill, where we're going to share what everybody wants you to believe about NEO from the Chinese government, from NEO owners and Wall Street. And then in the second part of the video, we're going to take the red pill for those that really want to see whether NEO is the one or not. You will see later if you want to go further, because if you take the red pill, keep in mind there is no going back, there is no going back from this channel. And of course, if you like this approach to investing, please click that like button and consider subscribing. Just a quick stock price overview, NEO went public two years ago at around 10, then there was a decline and then there were some small exuberant points. However, car sales in China really declined already in 2019 and NIO lost almost 80%, 85% from its IPO price. Then we had the COVID crisis, so NIO was really struggling, but it managed to recover and since the COVID crisis really explode. And this is what a 30 beggar now. The market capitalization is now 90 billion. When I started preparing was 95, 98 billion. So that's volatile on this high prices. However, we have to see whether the stock will continue this trend and what's the market seeing. For the business overview, I found this great CNBC documentary on NEO really explaining what is the market seeing, a lot of analysts talking about, and I'm going to quickly summarize it. I'll put also a link in the description below so you can watch it to enjoy a really nice, well-produced NEO explanation and documentary. The key question, of course, is can NEO become the Tesla of China and why it is one of the most valuable car makers, most valuable than, I don't know, Volkswagen or Daimler or GM or other 100 years old car makers. The company was founded in 2014, which shows that it's really a disruptive, um, blue, keep in mind blue pill here, disruptive like Tesla. It came in, it sweeps the market, it focuses on a niche, luxury cars in this case, and therefore it deserves a hundred billion dollar valuation, or 90 now. Perhaps when you're watching it will be a hundred. But NIO is not just a car company. Everybody says car companies, it's cyclical, no mode. No, NIO is much more than that. NIO is a lifestyle. So they have this daily app with 200,000 users per day where they really try to make something different, a cult around the business. You have NIO houses for reading, meeting people, uh, coming there with kids, whatever you fancy, really interesting community building and also very luxurious car cars competing only with Tesla in China with the prices. All other EVs in China really are for the price conscious Chinese consumer that doesn't want to pay a lot of money and there is NIO coming into the market really delivering something that only competes with Tesla. However, the automotive market is a cyclical beast, but NIO managed to survive the crisis. And when you survive the crisis, you come out stronger. They had to lay off some people, but they came into the market and even forced Tesla to cut prices as NIO went in with a little bit lower prices than Tesla. So great business management. Also, they abandoned the plans to build their own factory, which left them with approximately $2 billion from all the capital issues to invest in marketing to further promote what's really important, and that's the brand. The brand to create a strong niche over the long term, because what is there is huge EV growth in China. And then also the company is collaborating with the Chinese government, with the Hefei province, where the government invested 1.4 billion in funding and helped really the company during the COVID crisis. In China, it's key to have government support. 
They have outsourced their production to JAC Motors, so everything is done by others. Asset light business model, also business models that Buffett talked well about in a few of his business letters. And now if we see what the analysts are saying, so Edison Yu from Deutsche Bank, so they should know something about what's going on. He says that it is a battle between EVs and internal combustion engines. It's not a battle between NIO and Tesla because if the market grows extremely fast, it will be enough both for NIO and for Tesla and the other lower priced Chinese car makers. Plus, there is always the global growth opportunity. UBS analysts say that over the next five years, they anticipate Chinese players across the EV supply chain to aggressively enter overseas market. Perhaps a little bit easier in Europe, Asia, South America, but a little bit more difficult in the United States, but also depends on tariffs. If the United States go greener, lower the 27.5% import tax on Chinese cars, or they can build factories in the United States. So there is another market to really do well. So huge potential there. And the key thesis of the analyst is clear. People feel it's cool to own a NEO, you can't compete with that. You can't compete with cult investing. And cult investing brings money, brings capitalization, brings the possibility to really build great things, like Elon Musk did with Tesla over the last 10 years. So if NEO is the Chinese Tesla, they could do the same or even more in China. And if we look at the market cap, how is the market capitalization explained? They say that the market cap makes sense if you believe these guys will be winners in the future. If they win, then it's worth to pay 90 billion for this company. And as NEO is more valuable than Daimler, it means really that the market is seeing something. What is the market seeing? So we have just had an announcement of a great new car with extra range, what is that, 800, 750 miles, exceptional performance, really nice car, autonomous drive, and uh, you can watch that on the NEO YouTube Day live stream where they explained it all. And also NEO has a YouTube channel if you want to learn more about their batteries and everything. On NEO Day, they explained more about the new car and this is, of course, uh, something new and deliveries aren't expected to start until 2022. So investing is a promise on what's going to happen and the largest battery pack won't be available until well after that. So the key is that by announcing these cars, like Tesla did in the past, they gain their market share, their market position immediately before the competition comes in. So NEO is really replicating Tesla's strategy in the United States and that worked perfectly well for Tesla. And look at this. So we have some really cult people there in China, great branding, and they sing their own song. And this is China, the culture is different. So if you are a Neo shareholder, if you like this thesis, let's dance, let's whoa, whoa. Of course, the people aren't that excited here, but after two hours, they are now everybody's happy that it's over. So very nice singing and they presented also a car. This is the one. So the market sees something, we have a cool car, people are very happy and also the Deutsche Bank analyst said that people are feeling cool when they own a NIO in Tesla. So NIO might really be the one. And what is the market seeing? The market is seeing staggering growth from around 1000 sold cars during the crisis, the COVID crisis, they exploded and they are now selling 7000 cars. And if they continue with this exponential growth, they will reach huge targets as the Chinese markets grow. Of course, they partner with NVIDIA on next generation electric vehicle technology, autonomous driving, everything, super powered computers. You can talk to them in the car. Really, really a fancy, fancy car. First autonomous driving model for NIO, sedan to be there. 
batteries, 100 kilowatt batteries with flexible battery upgrade plans. Of course, you can exchange the battery there for now still. We'll see whether they'll drop that model as Tesla did. But for now, very, very interesting technology, very, very exciting company. And this is also what the market is seeing perhaps now with the COVID crisis, the gas the internal combustion engine market has already peaked and it's time for this electric vehicle to really go faster than what is expected. So we might see now 2020, 2022 and a big up here. And if the electric vehicles don't reach equality in 2037, but let's say 2030, as things are very exuberantly looking at, then NEO might do really, really good. How good? This is the Chinese expectations. This is from Bloomberg New Energy Finance. A little bit conservative than what might be the reality, but 2030 in China, we might have approximately 20 million electric vehicle cars sold. But there are some other estimations that see 8 million cars already in 2025. So 8 million cars, NIO now has a 3% market share, 3% of 8 million is 240,000 cars. But given the niche, given the first mover advantage in China alongside Tesla, maybe they can increase that from 3% as they are growing fast to 6%, perhaps even more. Let's see how this reflects into the fundamentals. Of course, this is a growth stock, so investment and disrupting the market. So there are no fundamentals now. We have to keep in mind, we have to make evaluation on future cash flows. 2025, if the market is 7 million cars, they have now 3% of the market, advanced technology, growth, with little growth costs, they don't have to build because they can outsource everything. Asset light model, 9% of the market in 2025, that's 630,000 cars. So NEO, if they do what Tesla did in the last five years, 30, 630,000 cars times $40,000, let's say 25 billion in revenue, 10% margin for a car company, 2%, $2.5 billion per year, price earnings ratio of 40 on the current market cap. Then, given the market, that's expected to really exponentially hit up after 2025, perhaps NEO can go global, then we can still expect double the growth to 2030. 1 million, 1.2 million cars in 2030 from the current 40,000. How does that look in a valuation table? So this is NEO and uh, I have said here that by 2025 they reach 2.5 billion dollars in free cash flows, growth rate 15% after that as they expand globally so they can double still 1 million cars, 1% of the global market, let's say 1.2 million cars, a little bit more, 15% growth, discount rate 5%, terminal multiple 30, in 2030 and we get to an intrinsic value of 95 billion. Of course, you can download this on my research platform. The link is in the description of the video below. You can play around. So this is what would justify reaching 9% of the market Chinese or go global and then make money. This would justify the market capitalization. So the market is clearly seeing huge growth ahead, not only in China, but also globally. Collaboration with the Chinese government, huge support there, stimulus, they will not let NEO fail because it's their own. So really technologically advanced, huge technology, autonomous driving, replicating what Tesla is doing. So NEO might really be the one, or at least this is what the market thinks. But let me ask a question, who is the market? And now we switch to the red pill. So be really careful here. If you go forward from here, it means that you will subscribe to this channel, you will click that like button, and it will change the way you think about investing forever. If you like what you've seen up till now, then stop watching here. Thank you, goodbye. If you've taken the red pill, welcome. Good day, fellow investors. My name is Sven Karlin, and I'm a fundamental long-term value investing guy on YouTube. 
Let's start with NEO stock analysis. So what's the market seeing? The market is seeing NEO, a great company, especially on YouTube. But don't forget YouTube is forbidden in China. Plus, you have these guys at the NEO day. I'm sure they are from the government to see whether the government will buy a NEO car. Then also what NEO is doing as the stock price is high, they are announcing closing on 1.5 billion convertible notes. So yes, there is a lot of trust into NEO doing great things. If we look at the fundamentals, the balance sheet, huge cash equivalents, three billion dollars on the balance sheet as the company is really, really doing well, right? Well, let me show you the mezzanine equity that is there and the accumulated deficit in the last for five years they have burned 7.5 billion dollars 7.5 billion dollars to sell 700 000, to sell 70,000 cars so to sell one neo car including the revenue and everything they got they burned a hundred thousand so yes you enjoy buying a car where 150,000 is invested and you pay 50,000 that's how you finance all the neo houses and all the cool stuff and all the great music you have seen on neo day i'm so sorry that i wasn't there at the neo party that's something i'll regret the rest of my life perhaps next year if they invite me as a big neo bull and then, of course, you can't compete with NEO. That's the Deutsche Bank thesis, of course. Deutsche Bank, really, really great company, great stock price. Then again, Jefferies, now that automakers, Chinese automakers are cool, Jefferies opens and starts coverage on Li Auto, NEO, Initius coverage, and Xpeng. So now, now, look, now when those stocks are hot, they start coverage and target prices are in line with the actual stock price. Also, after Goldman Sachs bails on bearish thesis, why do they bail? And if we look at the Neo Wall Street analyst rating, everybody is very, very bullish, bullish on Neo. Why? Well, this is again the reason. Announced closing of 1.4 billion convertible senior notes. A year ago, Neo launched a 650 million convertible bond. And look at this, book runners. Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, City, Deutsche Bank, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley, and UBS. So, of course, they are going to be extremely bullish on all these hot stocks because, as we discussed in the Jeremy Grantham video, that's the incentive for Wall Street. You make your money in Wall Street by having the bubble keep going. You make your money as a YouTuber on finance and stocks by having the bubble keep going. If not, you make your money only long, long, long term, but who wants to make money long term these days? Just crazy people. So be very careful about what Wall Street analysts say. And if something bad happens, they will just say, oh, the Chinese tricked us and the, the same whole story there, Chinese, 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 let's attack China, who cares? But I'm wondering whether I'm screwed here by Wall Street that is the book runner with every Chinese company that if later you get screwed, oh, it's the Chinese, it's not us. So I'm in a dilemma here who is screwing me or it's just simply a threesome. Also something similar Goldman Sachs did with Tesla four years ago, some same story there. Goldman upgraded Tesla hours before underwriting its two billion offering in 2016, so four years ago. All right, let me put now this into a realistic valuation. This is market cap. Let's now go to NEO per share, 2.5 billion in free cash flow divided by we are now at 1.2 billion shares. They will issue a lot more shares because they need to bring production from 40,000 per year to 600,000. So how much money do they still need? I estimate that they will double and when those convertible bonds issues issued become stocks, because the stock price is going up, I say that they will double the number of shares outstanding, especially if we have bad cycles like they did in the past. So let's say 2.5 billion stocks outstanding by 2025. 2.5 billion in cash flow divided by 2.5, it's $1 in free cash flow per share. If they grow then at 15%, 
next and have a 50 multiple in 2030. So a car company in 2030 with slower growth from 2030 onward, having a 50 multiple, then I'm justifying the current stock price. In best case scenario, let's say I have double the margins and 20% growth from 2025 on free cash flows, terminal multiple, 40, then you justify a higher stock price, double the current stock price, if you are hoping for a 5% return from your NEO investment. If you're hoping for a 10% return, then NEO is almost 100% undervalued. In the most exuberant cases, let's say fairly valued. And my worst case scenario would be that it never makes any money. Just look at history of cars. Henry Ford was the one that won. Hundreds and thousands of other car makers went bust there. And yes, the market grew exponentially since the T-model, what was it, 1908. But of course, this is just valuation. It's cool being a neo owner. So Sven, don't bother us with fundamentals. Okay, I'll bother you with other things. Competition. So everybody wants to make cars now. It's so cool to make cars. And even Tesla had to slash its car price by 8% to sell the inventory. So that's insane. That just shows you how there is no moat in the market, so much competition. I wonder if anybody will make money. Of course, Tesla will make money, but if Tesla makes money, then Neo can't make the money. Tesla is Tesla. Tesla is the big company here. And we have small Chinese Neo. What do you want to drive? A Tesla or a Chinese car company? I can't wait to see you in a Chinese car. Also, something else we discussed, founded in 2014, which means that they built a $100 billion company in six years which means that everybody else can do it too. We cannot say Tesla has the tech advantage, Tesla has the data, Tesla has everything. We cannot say that NIO has the same. Also, Xpeng gets a $2 billion credit line to do whatever they want, develop the Xpeng P7 electric vehicle, ping pong pong. And of course, they present this vehicle in the New York Stock Exchange. So not in China. Margins and then competition is intensifying. So a lot, a lot of companies building these electric cars. Also, there is this company, Apple. What the hell? A fruit company wants to make cars now. Partnering with Hyundai. So also increased competition down the road. The 2025, 2030 that we spoke in the NEO exuberant analysis. And then again, everybody's forgetting that the car industry is a cyclical industry. So good times, sales are good. Bad times, everybody's losing money. What happens when you lose money? Well, extreme dilution for shareholders. Just to look at these dilutions. NEO in March announces 235 million private placement. Private placement. So to friends and family, FA municipal government, framework agreement, additional 100 million private placement. So private placement, convertible notes, convertible notes, short term. This means that the next cycle, and don't tell me there will never again be a recession, the next cycle, NEO will dilute shareholders even more, perhaps to the 1.2 to 2.5 billion shares. Be careful. Of course, now that the stock is high, they really can get a lot of money for this, which is an advantage, which is again doing what Tesla did, bank banking on the high market capitalization. But when the stock price was low, only the Chinese government wanted to bail out the company. NIO was bailed out by the Chinese government. And you might say, okay, support from the government, they will not let this fail, so great bailout. No, this is a bailout the Chinese way, not the New York Stock Exchange, Wall Street, naive investor way. This is typical Chinese. It's legal, so it's not fraud, but it's a perfect Chinese setup for naive New York Stock Exchange investors. And I've read the conference call transcript. I know I do the reading. I apologize. That's not something cool these days. But yes, I read and I read this. I've read the transcripts because I didn't want to read this 930 page annual report. And the truth about what's going on will come in the next annual report. And who's going to read 930 pages? So let's talk about the company and the perfect setup. First, just 
a month ago, a month and a half ago, the company, the owners of the company were very happy to get $39 per share. For the same share, you are now paying 60 Okay, so they were happy. They knew that issuing shares at 40 is a great thing for them, but you are now happy paying 60 Then, let's talk about this. February, a year ago, when the bailout happened, under the framework, Hefe government expects to provide resources and funding to support the long-term growth of NEO in Hefe. All right, great, NEO will put headquarters there, everything great, right? But, and this is the key, they do not support NEO, what you own, the contractual agreement. They support NEO China. So NEO will hold 78%, 76% of the controlling equity in NEO China and the strategic investors will collectively hold the remaining 24.11%. So this is the setup. No NEO traded on the New York Stock Exchange. No, we'll set up a company, NEO China, we will deal on the valuation, we will tell you what to do, we will have 25% of the company that no matter how many shares you issue in the United States, we will forever own our stake. And if you read the conference call, the Q1, then they say how NEO will inject its core business and assets into NEO China. In China, into NEO China, including vehicle research, development, supply chain, sales and services, and NEO power. So the other will hold 24.1%. And the whole NEO that you think you're owning you are not owning NEO, you're owning 74%, 75, now 86, I'll come to that in the second, but you are not owning the complete company. The Chinese government is owning NEO China, and you are just owning a shell, owning a percentage of NEO China. And then the question was, of course, strategic perspective, NEO opens RMB financing channel for NEO China. So the money from Wall Street goes to NEO. But then that money has to go into Neo China, which is the company that owns everything. So the China of Tesla is Neo China, not Neo what you own. And they are setting up an RMB financing channel. And the question in the conference call was okay, how much will this dilute the future shareholder? Neo China is expected to go public in China four to five years down the road. So there might be, as Neo China will produce losses as it ramps up production, it will be a lot of dilution under the terms of the Hefei government, not under your Wall Street terms. And this is how the Wall Street investor, individual investor buying Neo is perfectly set up for whatever happens. Of course, I read the 6K form from September and they say that they raised capital and they injected that in Neo China and now they have 86.5%. And the Hefei government has time till 2021 to decide whether to do the same. So we'll see how that works. But the key here is that Neo is constantly adding these shares. So in September, they were very happy to issue them at 17. You are now paying 60, but the key here is that this was only mentioned in Q1 conference call and the key is that if Neo China loses money, they will have to inject money. Also the other shareholders, the Hefei province, so partnership with the Chinese government, and they will simply take as much as they want. Do they care about American investors in Neo shell company, variable interest entity? No, they don't care about you. This is Neo. It went bankrupt. It sold itself to the Chinese government, you might call it the devil or not, and then just went, continue on like nothing happened. No comment about this in the subsequent two conference calls. Why? Because analysts don't ask, because analysts need the bubble to keep going. So, and then again, just on Neo CEO, he is a great entrepreneur setting up also bit auto holdings and what he's great in is how to take advantage of the american naive investor bit auto went public in 2009 what is it at 15 and it went private at 15 it was ups and downs but it didn't make any real money and i found this article written by a certain guy in 2015 that even with the 70 percent stock price fall bit auto is still overvalued and that should price be at 11 
Five years later, it goes private at 1593, price at publication 3245. So, so these companies go public. The aunts, the cousins, the family, the who knows, long distance, the government, they all get their shares. Then after the IPO, they all sell their shares to the new investor coming now, buying the great, the next China of Tesla, and they buy their apartments in London, Paris, whatever, also Miami. You might see them walking around if you're from Miami, New York. And that's how the setup works. They sell promises and there are always customers for promises. Also something very curious, as you have seen me analyzing a lot of Chinese companies, Three years ago, every company in China was about three years ago, every company in China was about blockchain. Every transcript, every conference call that I listened was blockchain, 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 blockchain. These days, Alibaba, every company is now working on EV, 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 autonomous drive, EV, autonomous drive, EV, 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 EV. So that's just simply what works to suck money in in whatever form there is from pension funds. NEO is number 10 on the emerging markets fund because of the huge market cap. And of course, these are all great, great stories to sell, promises to make of autonomous drive, batteries, incredible range, etc. So is NEO the one? Well, Charlie Munger would simply say that you become a great investor and that he and Buffett were great investors because they avoided doing stupid things. In my opinion, buying NEO now is a very risky or we can say stupid thing because all of all the risks. First, you have Wall Street that is setting up so that they get a 6 to 8% commission when they issue the billions of new shares. That's Wall Street, they don't care. They work for commission. The owners going public, I don't know. I didn't check whether they sold already or not, but Usually that's how it's done. They sell in the market. They make a lot of money on the small initial investment. And then you have also the Chinese government who doesn't really care about your entity. And other companies, if NEO is really proven to be good, will have to invest there, dilute, and they hope to have a controlling majority in five years. NEO says it in the conference call. They hope to keep control of the company. So in 2025, you think you own the Tesla of China, you will maybe own 50% of it. For a $100 billion market cap, that's insane. That's really insane or borderline stupid. So if you like to be screwed by three different entities at the same time, if you like just four sums, then be my guest and be a NEO shareholders. If not, then subscribe to this channel for real long-term investing. Of course, we will get screwed also, but let's try to keep the screwing at the minimum. To summarize, we have Wall Street, one, then we have NEO, the owners, the founders, two, and we have the Chinese government, three. Enjoy your day.